first thing I'm going to do is start off with a BB cream. If you want to, you can use a foundation instead, and I'm going to be using my fingers to blend this in. Of course, you can use a brush if that's what you prefer. Once I've blended everything in, I'm going to move on to the eyebrows, and for the eyebrows we're going to be doing something a little bit weird, but it's the three fates I can get away with weird. And I'm going to be lightening the brows, but mainly at the start of the brows, and then leaving the very ends the same colour they normally are, and you want it to taper into that colour. Once I've done that, I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to start off with a primer and apply that all over the lid, and then blend it out with my fingers. Over the lid I'm going to be using two different shades of grey. I'm going to start off with a very pale grey at first and I'm going to put that all over the lid. I'll be applying it with my fingers but you can use a brush again if that's what you prefer. And then once I've applied that all over the lid I'm going to blend out the edges with a brush. After that I'm going to be taking an angled art brush and a dark grey and this one's slightly metallic and I'm going to be doing some winged eyeliner that's going to angle down and then I'm going to bring that colour down on the lower lid and what you want to do is squint into a mirror and right underneath that crease that you're going to get you're going to line along there after that I'm going to take a C-shaped brush and blend it out with that same C-shaped brush I'm going to take the grey metallic eyeshadow and I'm going to bring that in a C-shape around the corner of the eye and then blend that into the crease and with whatever's left on the brush you're going to bring that into the inner corner of the eye and blend it down along the nose bridge and then up into the start of the eyebrow After everything's been blended out, I'm going to take an angled eyeshadow brush, some black eyeshadow, and get that as close to the lashes, and line all the way into the inner corner. Whatever's left on the very end of the brush, I'm also going to get that into the lower lashes, but particularly on the outer corner. And the easiest way to do that is just to look straight into a mirror, squint a little bit, and then rub that in between the lashes, using the very tip of the brush. I'm also going to bring that colour down a little bit, down into that crease that I've accentuated with the grey eyeshadow. And now to follow the whole theme of grey, I'm going to be using some grey eyeliner, but I'm only going to be using that on about half of the waterline. So you're going to start on the outer corner and then stop about midway. And then on the inner corner, we're going to be using a white, and that's going to start on the waterline. And then you're going to get that down onto the tear duct, and you're also going to run it through the lashes there, just so that they go completely pale. Next I'm going to use a highlighter, I'm going to apply this in the inner corner of the eye and then with a brush, a little bit down the nose bridge and then we're going to be doing a C shape and this is going to start just underneath the brow and that's going to curve around your eye and down along the highlights of your cheekbone. Now for the lips we're going to be doing a cloth pattern since this is the weaver it kind of makes sense to do that. I'm going to be using a red lip liner at first and you just want to do these little stitch patterns. Some of the patterns are going to stay within the lip line and some of them are going to go outside of it. It's really up to you what pattern you decide to do. After I've used the red, I'm going to blur out some of them, especially on the edges where they've gone outside of the lip line. And then I'm going to be taking a brown eyeliner and going in between those lines. And what we're going to try and do is have the stitches next to different colours. So in between the red, I'm going to be using a brown. And then once I've finished with the brown, I'm going to move on to a white. So Wherever I haven't applied the white eyeliner, I'm going to apply the black. Now, obviously I'd applied some false lashes. I used some paper self-lashes on the upper lid and then some small individual lashes on the lower lid. One of the last things I'm going to do is add a long spool of thread just underneath the wig so that I can weave people's fortunes. But other than that, you're done.